you know, you just get the craziest looks from people. And, you know, they're like, are they all your dogs? What's going on here? Are they from the shelter? What are you doing? And at this point, I'm just like, yeah, I'm the crazy dog guy. People look and they do like the triple take. And they're like, whoa, what's going on there? That's part of why I love what I do is as much as it's the same and very similar every day, it's never the same. Even if you have the same pack of dogs, they're living beings. They're gonna react to different things in different ways. We start picking up the dogs at nine o'clock. We have a bunch of cargo vans that are outfitted with crates. So the team goes around house to house picking up the dogs and then we all meet up and we get all of our, our packs together and you know we walk them as a team, as one big pack. Depending on the day, you know, we'll we'll walk anywhere, you know, we probably average about an hour of walking right now. And then, you know, we'll have another potty break at the end of the walk. And then after that, we load them back in the vans and drop them all back at home. People look and they do like the triple take and they're like, whoa, what's going on there? I mean, it's a pretty small town here in Saratoga Springs. So especially back in the day, I used to like, when it was just me, I would take packs and walk them like downtown Saratoga in track season in the summertime where there's a lot of tourists and stuff. You know, you just get the craziest looks from people and they're just, you know, they're like, are they all your dogs? What's going on here? Are they from the shelter? What are you doing? Yeah, we get, we get a lot of looks. And at this point I'm just like, yeah, I'm the crazy dog guy. I was always a dog person, but I never considered it as like a career. After college, I needed a career change. I had a puppy. My Doberman at the time was like six months old and I needed a career change. And I started thinking of like, if I get a job in marketing, get a nine to five, I'm gonna have to hire someone to come in during the day, take care of Bluff, my Doberman. And you know, that was my light bulb moment of like, hey, I could be that guy, I could do that. I would love doing that, you know, that could be fun. So I really quickly just kind of ran through and tried to figure out whether I could even make a living doing that. Like, could I even pay bills doing that? And once I figured out I could, I was just like, okay, like, let me run with this. The next day I was out putting out flyers and door hangers and, you know, the whole nine and just kind of building it from the ground up. Yeah. And then from there, it was like, you know, in the beginning, I offered everything. I was like, I will massage your dog. I will sleep at your house. I will do play times. I will do training. I will do anything you want me to do with your dog. I'm there for it. And, you know, really quickly, I realized I can't keep doing that because it, I don't have any time to myself. And the majority of the clients were like, hey, I want my dog to get out and get a walk while I'm at work during the day. Uh, so that's how the midday pack program came to be is I was just like, OK, let's take these dogs who all live in the same neighborhood and I'll walk them together. And then I'll take these dogs who live in the same neighborhood and walk them together. Started taking pictures of them, like sitting, you know, and walking. And it took off, like people loved it right from the beginning. And I was like, wow, okay, that's pretty cool. Like I started, you know, getting people messaging me saying like the craziest things that I would never have expected. Like, oh my God, you made my day and this just made me smile so much and I can't stop thinking about it. And I wonder if this is possible with my dog and like all of these, you know, people who are like, I'm literally crying right now looking at how cute they are. I'm like, whoa, like I never expected that aspect of it. It kind of came full circle where, you know, now I have this community online of people who are really invested in the pack and really care about the pack and love the pack and you know, support me and everybody involved. And it's just like, it's really, really cool feeling. And I want to meet all of the needs of the dogs. And so kind of seeing where, you know, after the walk, the zoomies start kicking in with some of the younger dogs and they really want to go play with each other. I've been wanting to get a property, get a farm, get land, be able to do more than just like we've, we've helped a lot of dogs with the midday pack program. And, you know, some of these before and afters are just like unbelievable um, where dogs where they're building their confidence and socialization. So it's been probably at least six or seven years that I've been really on this on this mission now of trying to find the farm. So it was about 20 in 2020 started. I found the place 
started getting approvals from the town, finally closed on it, and we've been doing renovations for the last two years, and we're almost done. Uh, but right now we have averaging about 40 dogs a day right now on our on our pack walk. It's a lot of fun, and sometimes I still do big packs because I'm just I just get the itch, and I'm like, all right, guys, sorry, but I'm taking all the dogs today. I'm walking all the big <laughs> all the dogs. Uh, but that's fun too because it gives them a little bit of taste you know to hand off the leashes to them to me it's always comes down to the dogs like i always want to work with dogs i don't want to i don't want to just get into like a managerial role and like take a step back and just supervise or anything like that it's boring to me i want to always be hands-on with the dogs that's what i really like figuring out a dog seeing like what makes them tick how do i get through to them how do i bond with them how do i get them to understand me and to see the world in a different way that's the most rewarding part when we paddle out into the lineup people smile there's no doubt you know and we'll take off on a wave and i hear people going rosie go rosie it's it's pretty cool there's actually quite a few people who surf with their dogs and then we have these competitions where they surf on their own and they're